Okay, if you found this video, we're all looking for the same thing. Curious, curiosity, huh? Okay, so I just got back from a road trip from Cleveland after watching the Netflix thing, and I really thought I had it. And I'm going to tell you why, and if there's anyone that can help find it. So this is the scene where the son is walking through the grave, right? graveyard. This right here, this cross, does not exist in St. Peter Paul Cemetery in Cleveland. And this building back here is kind of a mystery too, but if you look at the base of that cross, it's really important. And see, there's a road there, right? All right, now keep that in mind. It's, that is not in this cemetery. All right, now assuming he's actually leaning at John de Monuk's grave, uh, these shrubs don't exist either. That's clue number two. So now this is actually John de Monuk's grave. That is Cyrillic Ukrainian. That is de Monuk. I think in the next picture, yeah, you can see his birthday. That's April 3rd, 1920. I have not translated I-B-A-H yet. But that 100% for sure is de Monuk. And in general, that's a pretty good shot of his grave. It's not in there. If you go to the top, there's a cross shaped. And keep in mind these little curve that goes down. There's a pretty significant base. So this is the drone shot right after um, that scene. 100% for sure. This is St. Peter Paul Cemetery near Cleveland. I was there. I knew that this cemetery was the one that was shown. So I thought his grave was going to be in there. I'm 100% for sure. And I'll show you why. Among other reasons, I took a topographical map and this circle right here. Now look right here. There's a flagpole or cross thing at the top. And look at these poles. And from the sky, these, you can see where there's concrete um, rows to set those, to set those on. And again, this is the drone view. And back here is the uh, parking lot for the church that's behind the cemetery, not the one off the road. And um, there's my photo. And... This is the uh, poles that I showed you in the other photo. And again, up close, it's like a flagpole and there's a cross on there. And the base of that does not look like the base of the other. Let's go back to the other one. Note this, the tiny cross. So there you go. That is not the same. All right. So this cemetery that they're showing from the drone shot, I don't think that's where he's buried. I think they took a drone shot from one cemetery and a close-up of the grave marker from another cemetery. But I'm assuming they're close. Now, online, his wife's obituary says something like New Jersey, I think. She may have moved there late in life with a kid or something, right? In the credits of the movie, it says Chicago drone footage or something. <clears throat> I doubt if this is near Chicago. They probably just got a company to come into Cleveland. And again, if you look real close, you can see the general shape here. This decorative piece goes up. And there's a cross. I don't have the best still shot. And the rest of the cross is up here, right? It's a big one. All right, so stay tuned. And somebody out there is going to see this. And they're going to recognize that cross, that base. And there's a circular road. There's a road here, a road here, circular spoke in the middle with some sort of... You know, I assume the church in the background. Also, I went frame by frame 
Maybe somebody else can do it. Maybe they'll get lucky. Maybe they'll have an awesome TV or right. Find me the last name of somebody else's stone. Some of these in the drone shot are really close to being able to be readable. That's the wide view. So if this is the cemetery he's at, in I just didn't see it but I just don't think it is the, the the topographic was right see the circles in this circle here I found this cemetery 100% for sure uh, this is St. Peter Paul Cemetery behind a Ukrainian church in I think it's Parma and uh, I just don't think that's where his marker's at All right, everybody. Happy hunting.